It's midnight 16 here in Marietta Square on October 2nd, 2020. I had just gotten off work heading home when I heard CSX train Q582 heading northbound with SD40-3 number 4004 at the lead. Yard, CSX train K442, empty ethanol out of Lawrenceville, had just combined its train with V812, an empty grain train on the head end. They had just played a game of musical engines, swapping power all around. The pair of KCS motors are on the head end from K442, and the pair of CSX motors were actually swapped with Q583. Usually, K442 runs the WNA subdivision to Chattanooga, but because of shortage of crews, they combined with this grain train and went south via LaGrange to Birmingham, Alabama instead. This was a very unusual move.
After getting off work on the 8th, I sit in Austell to lay eyes on my first Progress Rail SD70 ACU engine. These units had been running around on the KCS system for a long while, but I never got the opportunity to see one. Day or night, I was going to get one eventually, as EMDX 7219 trailed on NS Train 219. Then on October 12th, CSX train X581 was entering Atlanta city limits with SD40-2 number 8851 at the lead. Then came a fun afternoon on the NS East End. I'm rolling along on I-20 westbound out to catch NS Train 22G. My goal was to get all the way to Waco, but traffic told me otherwise. There was a semi-accident that shut down the interstate completely at Temple. Everyone was being diverted off of the Villareca exit, taking US-78 as an alternate. I didn't want to risk going any more west battling interstate traffic on a two-lane highway, so I stuck around at Villareca. As soon as I got there, local job A25 was moving eastbound as light power to pick up two cars between Baggett and Carroll. Moving over to the west side of Villarica, train 22G hits 41 tank with UP 1989, the Rio Grande Heritage Unit at the lead. It's not too often do we get to see these heritage units down here.
battling out the interstate traffic, they were slowed down as A25 was on the single main picking up those two cars. 22G eventually gets a signal once they got out of the way picking up speed, as I kept getting slowed down. My slowdown was all because of a dumpster truck literally going about 15 miles an hour in a 45. What luck. I was however able to somehow beat them to Winston, finding A25 waiting on the main line with the two cars they had picked up. 22G proceeds east in the siding with a diverging clear signal indication. Traffic got me again as the 22G comes up in my rearview mirror continuing east through downtown Douglasville.
I get beat in Douglasville, but luckily gets held up short of Austell for north end traffic to clear. Then the 22G gets signals as they inch towards Cobb siding to split their train for Whitaker Yard. This would end the chase for me here. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video, and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel too. See y'all next time from Austell, Georgia, at milepost 135, letter H, along Norfolk Southern's Atlanta North District.